Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a slightly older set. This is the Active Camo Power Pack. And I initially ignored these Power Pack sets because I really did not like the look of these clear armored figures. But the weapons kind of are what drew me to this set. So I decided to pick it up and take a look at it. And what's interesting is this is supposed to be active camo, but the figure is not entirely clear. So that's kind of interesting and kind of diverges from Mega's normal active camo style. There's the back, you can see the weapons that are included and some of the other power and armor packs. So let's go ahead and open this up. Wait a minute, where's it? Oh, yeah, it is there. I couldn't see the tape at first. All right. Oh, look at that. It's so easy to get out. Toss the box to the side. The backing also doubles as the instructions on how to put the stuff together and a parts checklist. That's how it comes straight out of the package. We have, wait a minute, did I miss something? Haha, <laughs> I did miss something. There's a little compartment off to the side that has the other half of the wreck station. That's kind of important. Okay, so to put this together, you just kind of pop it on there and it closes up. That's pretty nice looking. You can remove, ugh, you can remove that. And there's a stud there. This kind of looks like a cryopod now that just pegs on there. And then we've also got an energy bayonet in here, some short clips to put the weapons inside the rec station, a little blocky scope, and this printed piece that is supposed to represent the active camo power up, and then a black stand. So that's what comes in there. Let's finish getting this guy out. Fuel Rod Cannon, SMG, Magnum, uh, and then the Helios Grill himself. Um, at first, I really did not like the Helios Grill armor, but I actually think now it looks pretty neat overall. It's got a pretty slick design. And this clear blue, while not fully active camo looking, is very interesting, especially with the black undersuit. Um, the visor is alright. It's not great. There's kind of some lighter patches here. And it's a little bit spotty overall. So that's not a great visor. It could have definitely been better. And I don't know if all of the sets had it like this. I actually have two of these. The other one has a somewhat better visor, but printing stuff like gold on a clear color means you have to get the gold pretty thick or else you're just gonna end up with kind of a weird half translucent yellow, which is kind of what happened here. But it's a pretty nice figure overall, but that is not the reason why I bought this set. These weapons are the reason I bought this set. This is the Pool of Radiance uh, Fuel Rod Cannon. Pool of Radiance is the name of this skin. And that looks really nice. The whole thing is cast in kind of this orange color. And then we have this white and kind of tan yellow print on both sides. And that looks really, really cool. Let's go ahead and... pop it on the Helios grill. That looks really nice. And again, this 
this set is the only place to get these skins for these weapons. This SMG is gold standard. That's what the box calls it anyway. Um, and it's got all this really, really fine print all over it. You see the gold lining. There's kind of some light gray. And there's actually a ring of it around the barrel. The bayonet is supposed to go on there. Now, I think... I, Yeah, I'm pretty sure that as you put the bayonet on and off, it kind of pulls a little bit of the gold off, which is a bit of a bummer. I think maybe the printing could have been made a little more durable. But that's how you're supposed to kit this one out. And that's a pretty nice look. Fits in the Helo Skrill's hand. And he's ready to hop into a multiplayer arena. The final weapon is a Magnum with the Fade skin. That's pretty nice. I think it's... Yeah, it's cast in the same color as the Fuel Rod Cannon. Got some green on there, stands out. Kind of a black, that's not really a stock, but the butt of the pistol. And then he can hold that. Again, it looks very nice, and it's exclusive to this set. So this wreck station is here for you to store whatever weapons you're not using. You can do like that, and you can also store the uh, active camo power up in here, I believe. I think it should stick to these studs. Let's see. Does it? Well, maybe it doesn't actually stick inside of it. You can stick it on top. That's a pretty nice print. Let's see. Can I get the magnum to fit in here? Oops. That is the only issue I see with these is the hinge kind of pops off kind of easily. There we go. Yeah, we can. And then we can just close that up. Pop him next to it. Well, there you have it. That is the active camo power pack. Overall, it's a pretty good set. Again, I'm not a huge fan of these translucent armor figures. I am kind of liking it a little bit more than I thought I would. Um, and I really do like this. This is awesome to, you know, put in dioramas or whatever. Adds a little bit of spice to it. And, you know, you could actually use this as a cryopod if you wanted to. Stick it onto the side of a ship. Obviously, you can't fit a figure in there, but you could make it work as a display thing. The fact that you can store the weapons in there is pretty awesome. That little printed piece is cool, and these weapons are really the main draw of the set. If you want some really awesome weapons, then these power packs are definitely something you're going to want to look into. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.